I've been trying to learn a few more editing tricks for my videos, and I know that I'll never be able to fit this one in, so I'm just going to put it in now. <sighs> Happy James Day! Day! Hello everyone, and welcome to the James Marriott channel, and to a brand new episode of Mainstream Celebrities are on YouTube now. Why are they doing this? Please stop. Now I want to take you back a little bit, back to my place, am I right, fellas? Not really, you're all 12. Paris Hilton. She's famous for being, well... Famous, I guess. She's somewhat fallen off over the last 10 years, but I guess that's somewhat inevitable when your only true skills are having rich parents and being able to set up a camera before you shag like some dopey chimp. But Paris is just another celebrity to make a YouTube channel, which, believe me, nobody asked for. For the record, I do believe there are celebrities that have good YouTube channels. Will Smith and Steve-O, for example. Yeah. They have the ability to tell interesting stories on their YouTube channels because they've both lived very interesting lives. Paris Hilton, on the other hand, would probably struggle to define the word interesting. But on the James Marriott channel, we're we're all about family. We have a nice little community. It's a shit fest, in all honesty. I just want you all to suffer with me. She made a video titled Cooking with Paris. Is Paris Hilton's ability at cooking something that she's known for? Is she renowned for this? Or has she just gone to herself, oh, what is the place Paris famous for? I should do that too. She seems to be very proud of her recipe for today. Today I'm going to teach everyone how to make my famous lasagna. Famous lasagna. Fucking Garfield over here. And a lasagna is a so famous that she even capitalizes the L. So famous that she even turned off at the ratings of the video. Uh, let's take a look at this famous lasagna and just how shit she is at cooking it. Some of the tags here. Cooking with Paris. Lasagna. Not capitalised, unfortunately. Diamond Baby. Not really understanding the relevance of that, but I guess we'll see. Hey guys, well- oh, oh my god, it's a rat! God, Pixar have really fallen off, haven't they? Has she put clothes on it? That's surely inhumane. I don't understand why people get dogs like this. Any dog that's natural resting faces- <laughs> they, they clearly have issues, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I like this though. Let's see how she describes this. Fresh, spicy, tasty, healthy. <laughs> Pretty much the four simplest words you can use to describe food. How long does she hold the dog for? As a little girl, for? I would always go with my mom in the kitchen and sitting on the counter and watching my mom cook. And that's why I'm so good at cooking. I just watched someone do all the work. I fucked doing the work myself. I want to do like a bit of a fit check. I feel like it's important for cooking videos to have a fit check. Here we have a, a nice uh, rainbow. I like a, a cloud. A cloud with a smiley face. She seems to be wearing fingerless gloves. I'm not sure if anyone has ever cooked with fingerless gloves before. Just hopped off the Harley Davidson. Now got to cook myself a bacon sarnie. Whereas me, for example, look at that Marriott hoodie. When's it out? I hear you asking. The 7th of February. Make a note in your calendars. We're also dropping this very lovely hat. I don't suit hats. Paris, if you want either of these items, oh, they're lovely. Reach out to me. Maybe we can make a cooking video together whilst we wear our, my merch. The stove won't be the only spark we have in our relationship. This is my little assistant today. Diamond baby. It's wearing Chanel. The dog is wearing a designer brand. That dog is probably worth more than my entire setup. Oh, that's the that's where Diamond Baby comes from. Why has she put a dog's name in the tags of the video? What do you think? People are looking up. I need to see some Diamond Baby. If I do not see my Diamond Baby today, I will lose my shit. Hit me up when you're cooking the dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> actually, the main ingredient of the lasagna. So make sure to put the oven to 375. And you start the whole- Sliving lasagna. Sliving? Slive tried ended eight years ago, Paris. Oh, living your best life. Oh. Someone actually wrote an article about this word. Paris Hilton's vocabulary is so slim that she has to make her own words. Let's look at the uh, the ingredients here as well. Meat. It, it's kind of pointless saying any alternative you prefer when uh, shredded mozzarella is right above it. Uh, oh, and uh, ricotta cheese. I've just seen what she's written at the top as well. Lasagna noodles. Oh. Who calls that a fucking noodle? Do you know what, what sheets of lasagna look like because they are sheets by the way it's not a, a fucking noodle lasagna noodle oh stop it oh let's see what she's got on her counter there hold on sorry Burla. a lot of uh probably inspirational quotes uh hopefully she wears one of these later oh my god i found marilyn monroe what's to the left of marilyn is, is that a dildo nothing quite gets me going like fresh basil pesto <laughs> Be delicate because these break really easily. Yeah, yeah, they do, mate. You, you fucking dropped some on the floor there. Oh, don't worry about that. Jeeves will pick it up later. They will like shrink so that they're not so big and they'll fit. Like, don't break them in half, or it just ruins the lasagna vibe. <laughs> it doesn't ruin the lasagna vibe. It ruins the. It's not a lasagna anymore. Vibe check. Faris, no food has a vibe. The ingredients are inanimate objects, cheese. Obviously, you do not need this Mr. Ricotta cheese. Don't use this much. It's way too much. So she was saying that she was using too much ricotta cheese. There's also mozzarella. Can we, can we talk about that? If you use that much cheese, you will be shitting for centuries. But maybe that explains Paris Hilton's brain. It's not 98% water. It's 98% Wensleydale. Now I have to 
grate the cheese. No, Paris. Oh no, I'm gonna have to see her suffer. I don't wanna watch. Still, I wish this was already shredded, oh. but whatever. Life could be worse. Well, yeah, there are refugees out there, but at least they don't have to grate cheese themselves. Maybe they don't have any cheese in the first place, but at least they don't have to grate it. Oh my god, the way she chucked it down there. Three minutes into the video and she's finally realized that she's actually committed to something that is going to take longer than 10 minutes. What is the point in that? Jeeves, cook the damn pasta for me. So brutal. Brutal? You could describe shredding cheese in many ways. Brutal is most definitely not one of those ways. Unless the cheese that you're shredding is your own fucking skin. I have a much bigger appreciation for already shredded mozzarella already. What's that? Does she have a mural dedicated to herself in her kitchen? What we're cooking up today then? We got some uh, raw dog here. Oh, and look, Paris over there, known famously for raw dogging. Okay, I'm gonna get another piece of cheese. I'm scared. I'm gonna start grinding my fingers off. I'm not gonna be that guy that's saying she's wasting food, but look how much cheese is still in her hands. The size of my fucking head. And Paris, your gloves are weapons in themselves. They could probably survive a nuclear holocaust. All right. Photo. A little stop for an Instagram post. I, I can write that. About to film a new YouTube video. Wait, she's cut it off. Why, why is she cut off the bottom here? I feel like this didn't get many likes and she's a bit embarrassed. At home, about to film a new YouTube video of me cooking my infamous lasagna. Here it is. Oh, 1.4 thousand likes. It's not bad. I, I can't really attack someone for getting over a thousand likes. How many followers does she have? Oh, 17 minutes. No, this is, this is bad. Oh, wait, we can actually see what the cloths say. Sometimes a queen has to remind everyone why she's queen. Even if no one sees the posts about it. Dress like Coco, live like Jackie, act like Audrey, laugh like Lucy. A very clear sign that Paris Hilton is a boomer. Who's she referring to? Live like Jackie. Jackie Chan or something? Yes, I am the fucking queen. Does she get these dishcloths to remind herself? Like clearly no one else will be seeing or using these. Are people actually excited for this video? Oh, grumpy cat. Time for me to click off Twitter and never come back. Next is the ricotta cheese. Good. It's the one thing we needed. More cheese. All the ricotta. Why, why are we giving a different shot for that? There should be a trigger warning, really, shouldn't there? Don't look, you're about to see cheese plop into a bowl. So the next step is the ricotta cheese, which you just mix around. Oh my and god, you don't... how much cheese is in there? Um... <laughs> the way she looked at that wooden spoon like she'd never seen a spoon before. So, this, and then you get an egg. One egg for that, that's all it needs. And then you eat all of the dough because it's so good. She called it a dough there, but it's just cheese and an egg. Hey, mamma mia. That is what I like to call a good meal. So the next step is to make the lasagna sauce. I usually take olive oil and put that instead of butter because it's- You really do take olive oil. Jesus. That right there is a tsunami of olive oil. I think this is probably the healthiest homemade meal that I have ever seen. Bit on the side there. What are you can do with that. Oh, just keep it on the side. Again, I don't know if I have the right cooking utensil. You just need a spatula. You don't need three of the fuckers. She's got the three fucking musketeers. She's gonna do like a juggling trick. Oh, okay. oh, nice. No, she, she's using yeah, two at once. Too... It's just a sign that she's ambidextrous. There's nothing wrong with it. So you want to make sure it's like cooked, but like not all the way. So just like flip it. Kind of make it tan. Oh. Does she actually think the words cook and tan are interchangeable? You can use an oven at 350 degrees. You can also use a sunbed. I'm not sure of the exact measurement of what you're supposed to do, but this is what I do every time. Go like. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Jeeves, I'm, I'm so sorry. I've done it again. So I'm gonna do my towel trick again. Towel. Bottled water, who knows what's in these sewers. The tap isn't connected to the sewers. Do rich people not have any idea how the world works? You think someone's shit is getting put down your tap when you use that? Himalayan pink salt. Hmm. Sounds cool. Oh, she's now seasoning it, by the way, with more salt. Does she realize how much salt she's already been using? A drainer and just get all the oily stuff. All the oily stuff. So the oil. <laughs> oh, a little bit of product placement as well there. Because you've got to have your Paris Hilton perfume in the kitchen. My unicorn mist. No, that's not the name of it. Unicorn mist. I can't even smell it yet and I want to choke. All right, so now we have everything. Oh, and here we go. We're getting to the end now, boys. You've suffered long enough. It's actually really fun and really easy. But I guess it is a lot of steps compared to like making toast or something. The two meals of the world. Jeeves probably has a built-in toaster at this point. Jeeves, I require your ass again. Let's go. I'm excited. Excited. 
Oh yes. my God, it is moving. That lasagna has a life of its own. Uh, everyone, please run. Coronavirus is not something to be scared of. It is this lasagna. So let me know what I should cook next. Hashtag cooking with Paris. I think that is the end of the video. Have I learned anything? I guess I know how to not cook lasagna now. That is somewhat a positive. But yeah, let me know what you thought of Paris's cooking skills and I guess YouTube skills. I feel like it would be more interesting if she spoke a bit more rather than showed how she doesn't have a skill in something. Oh, you want to hear me talk about that famous piece of drama? Well, that's a shame. Here's a quiche. If this video gets to 75,000 likes, I will make this lasagna. You don't want that to happen, so I guess don't like this video. But if you have enjoyed this one, then please do go ahead and watch this video that I made fairly recently. I'm a really funny guy. I make very cool videos. Uh, I don't make lasagna. It may not be about lactose, but I can assure you that I am intolerant. But subscribe if you're new or have not done so already, and I will catch you next time.